Okay, so what we're looking at here is involvement of a Chrome Enterprise device into the Google Admin Console, subsequently into Workspace ONE UEM. So if you imagine you've got a Chromebook in front of you, so kind of what you're looking at now, it's actually a virtual machine I've created just for the purposes of the demo. And then from here, we would go through, let's go. You can see that I'm connected uh, to my network, we have internet access. So what I'd expect to see now is the uh, Chromebook logon page. So rather than just logging in or signing in to the Chromebook, I'm going to do Control Alt and E, and that's going to trigger the Enterprise Enrollment page. So when that comes up, I'm just going to put in an account to enroll into my Google Admin Console. That's going to go through the Enterprise Enrollment. So as I mentioned, what will that will do is enroll this Chrome Enterprise operating system into the Google Admin Console. And once it's in there, it will then sync through to Workspace ONE. So that's it. As you can see, very quick, very easy. So I accept that. OK, so let's let that finish. And that will then um, present me back to the sign-in page. So this page, I Sorry, this time I could log in as the admin again, or I could log in as myself. So what I'll do is I will log in to my account. Again, prompt my password. So I'll go through that, and then what it will present me back with is the Chrome desktop. And because I've gone through the enrollment, some of those policy changes should take place. So you should see a custom wallpaper. So the wallpaper I've set is kind of uh, a shot from space, really. So you should see that come up. Once we've verified that's taken place, our know the device is uh, enrolled correctly. So we can then jump to the Google Admin Console. And I can show you that. Let me just close that browser. So exactly that. That's the wallpaper we're expecting to see. And you can see now there are some updates wanted. So I won't apply them just yet. So I'll minimize that. Bring the mouse back. And if we bring up the Google Admin Console, and you can see I've got eight devices. That should refresh and actually reflect nine. Now I've enrolled that device. OK, so as you can see, I now have nine Chromebooks. And the one that's just been enrolled is this one here. You can see there what time that was enrolled. So that's now enrolled that's you know, available to manage. So the last step is to make sure that device is now visible in my Workspace ONE console. That would sync through automatically, um, but what I can do is I can force it if it hasn't occurred yet. So I'm just gonna do a refresh of the browser, make sure that's all up to date. Um, I've configured a separate organizational group for my Chrome devices. So if I come in here, the virtual machine I'm using is Neverware Cloud Ready. So you'll see there's some of those devices uh, already enrolled. You can see it when they were last visible, so it's not those devices. So what I'll do is I'll come into device settings. I'm just gonna manually force through a device sync. So I'm gonna go to Chrome OS and then the enterprise EMM registration. And I'll do device sync. Okay, that's successful. So I can close that window. And see that upon refresh. So that was last seen one minute ago. So it'd be that device there that I just enrolled. You can see I did that as that Chrome admin account. Okay, so you can see it's being managed by NDM when it was last seen and when that was enrolled. So if I then go back to my desktop. So what we're looking now is back at the Chrome desktop. So it was that quick and that simple to enroll the device. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I just enrolled as a user from that uh, enterprise enrollment screen. That then registered and enrolled that device into Google Admin Console, which we then sync through to Workspace ONE. 
that then empowers us to be able to start sending down some profiles, whether they're device or user profiles, and delivering applications to that device. So starting to bring that back into management. Hope that was useful.